starting this new thing where we come to Holiday Studios and stop at Starbucks to grab breakfast. And we just sit at Starbucks and we eat our breakfast in the morning before we kind of start our day. So we're here early. It's 9 o'clock. We got a few minutes before Slinky starts. We're going to start with Slinky. So just going to go. <laughs> Hopefully he likes as much as he did last time so that it doesn't like, you know, you have to be scared to put him on something because it might trigger them for not wanting to ride anything else. But... We're gonna go ahead and get that one out of the way. We're only doing a half day here. Huh? Yeah, really. I mean, I, it just depends. Oh my goodness. So <laughs> it gets so incredibly hot at Hollywood Studios because it's literally like walking on the surface of the sun. There's not as many like shops I feel like to duck into here and there's no shade. So for me, it's definitely not what I want to be at like all day long throughout the like hot, hot, you know, like two, three, four o'clock. Um, but we are just going to play it by ear and just try to check off the main things. Speaking of ears, Britt's earless at the moment. I know. I'm, honestly, <laughs> I've just been so hot. I almost did my makeup today, but then I went to the mirror and I was like, okay. I'm going to wear makeup today because I have to edit these vlogs and I don't want to wear I think I'm just going to put my hair in a ponytail. I never wear my hair in a ponytail, but it's, it's that hot right now. So we're going to finish our breakfast and then we're going to head to Slinky Dog. Who is that? So we made it to Toy Story Land. We're headed to get Jesse. on Slinky. We're gonna be able to do everything that's pretty much over here all at once, and then yeah. we'll work our way back to the other side of the park again. We're gonna knock this area off, get it over with, because this is the hottest part of the park. Yep, absolutely. So, <laughs> we're gonna do it first thing in the morning. Shep, you ready? especially if a toddler, grab an extra outfit, put it in a Ziploc bag, and put it at the bottom of your diaper bag. Because you never know when something like this would happen. We were so thankful that we had a Ziploc bag to put the messy clothes in, and we had a change of clothes, so we didn't have to go all the way back to the resort to change Shepard's clothes. So always bring a backup pair of clothes, um, especially if you're a toddler, and put it in the bottom of your diaper bag in a Ziploc. So that way you have somewhere to put the soiled clothes so it keeps the rest of your diaper bag clean. We have a lightning lane for Midway Mania, which is just right here. I'm just hanging out at the stroller, parking, just waiting on them. Jared is taking quite a sometimes, so it must have been awful. Poor thing. Poor Shepard and Jared. But Jared's a trooper for always taking care of that kind of stuff. He's such a good dad. Because like, you know, a lot of times dads are like, oh no, that's the mom's job. Not Jared. Jared splits all the stuff with me. Okay, I guess while I'm waiting, I can kind of go over our stroller setup. It's really messy right now, but I have some time to kill while I'm waiting on them. So we have the Bombi stroller. I bought these just bag clips off of Amazon and they just hooked to the little like D-rings on my diaper bag. So I used to have a caddy that we used probably for like five trips and it was amazing. And I will always link that below because if you don't want to do this, that's the other really good option. So I just put my diaper bag on here so I can have, I have a pocket here and a pocket here and I can get to all my zippers. It's just like everything I need is right there. I'm not constantly digging underneath. I bought this cup holder off of Amazon because it's honestly it's better than the one that comes with the stroller that one is like really loose and it opens up and it falls so this one just like clips on and then for shepherd i bought this one which is so great it's better than any snack tray that we had like in the front it's never gotten in the way and it's right at his hands it's not like in his way i can still well this this opens up and it still will go all the way down it doesn't like get in the way if there's a snack tray right here it's got a little spot right here tray so he can put his toys and a cup holder so he's got all his like little like toys that live in here this stroller does open all the way up and creates literally a full canopy like totally closes over the bar any of the other strollers we've had don't close that much 
much. This is the most shade I think any, any of them have ever had. And then over here we just have our popcorn bucket. And this is the cup holder that it comes with. It like is really flimsy and the cup, like everything just falls out of it. But we put it on there just to hold like napkins and stuff. So another thing I really like about the stroller is it's got a pocket right here so I can put all of Shepard's toy. Like he kind of, he can hoard like his toys and stuff and keeps them from falling out. So he has like a Shepard pocket that he keeps his little goodies in. The stroller also totally reclines and how we do it is there's a pocket right here on just the back of it but we keep an extra passy and the sound machine. So the reason we keep the sound machine right here is because we put it in facing like facing Shepard and it's right at his head and it muffles the bag muffles it so Shepard hears it but not really anybody else. Underneath is super important because we had a um, up a baby for the longest time when Shepard first started coming to the parks so we had a lot of storage underneath and when we wanted to downsize our stroller to like a one-handed super lightweight stroller Hi. It was really important for us to have almost the same amount of storage. We don't carry as much stuff, so we didn't need quite as much. But we still needed storage because I have to bring ears. We have all kinds of stuff. We keep our cups. We keep all kinds of stuff in here. We have our Shepherd's Pooh Bear, our fans. We take his fan and we clip it right here. So this is usually where this stays. So I have room for like ears down here. That This is that extra pair of shorts. We're just going to keep it down there. And we have our fans and our stroller rain cover. So all that fits down there. This is our bag that we take for diaper changes and it literally if you buy anything else <laughs> from this video buy this bag it's amazing because you open up the front and you have wipes right here and then you open this pouch and you have room for diapers or changing pads I guess we're out of the um, it's got a pocket right here and it has a zip in the back and so when Jared needs to take Shepard to the bathroom or I do we just have to reach in to the bottom of the stroller right here and grab this bag we don't have to get the whole diaper bag it's amazing one day I'll do a better stroller tour but like literally that was our true stroller tour like we are in the park in action sitting in the middle of stroller parking about to get on a ride and that's exactly what our stroller Looks like. A stroller in its natural habitat. A stroller in its natural habitat, toddler included. So seriously great. This has genuinely been the best stroller for the parks. It has been amazing. It's lightweight. You can pick it up with one hand. You can fold it with hand, one hand. You can unfold it with one hand. It's honestly a completely one-handed stroller. It's amazing. And it pushes just as smooth as my Opa baby. All right, guys, we're about to go hop on Midway Mania, and then we're going to do Alien Saucer Spin, and then we're going to do Minnie's Runaway Railway, and that's honestly our checklist for this park. If we do anything else, we might take Shepard to Star Wars just because he really likes the blue milk, and that's probably going to be it for this park because it is so hot. All right, grab your babies and let's go. This is Shepard's favorite gift shop on property. A whole Toy Story gift shop. They've got everything in here. If you need anything Toy Story, this is the place. You can find things here that you can't find other places. Like Shepard has this in his room. It's so cute. We love that. We got that a couple trips ago. I haven't seen this one. This one's really cute. Oh my goodness. All this is so cute. I haven't seen this. How cute. It's a serving plate for pizza. <gasps> And has little aliens on the like pizza server. That is so stinking cute. I think we eat enough pizza in our house to justify buying that. Here's a Pizza Planet tumbler, and they even have Pizza Planet plates. These are like real ceramic plates. It is such a hot day that I'm actually tempted to grab these. These are so cute. These little scrunchies. There's a cow print one, a Woody print one, and a Bo Peep one. So I guess it would be Jesse, Woody, and Bo Peep. Okay, I don't even like hoodies, but I love this hoodie. How? Cute is this? What we did? Can go ride the alien ride? I said, Mommy, I'll spin. Uh, okay. I'll spin. <laughs> you remember the alien spin? I said, You want to go do that? He said, Yeah. He loves this and the teacups. Yeah. Make that kid dizzy. He's all about it. <laughs> Shepard walked over here like he knew exactly what he was doing. Alright guys, 
since we were done with Toy Story. We did everything. We came, we, we oh, toyed, we saw it. <laughs> so now we're headed into Galaxy's Edge. We're going to try to get a little refreshment first. Then we're going to see if Shep can ride uh, Smuggler's Run because he we, think he's he's, we think he's tall enough. He rode Slinky and that's 38, so he should be able to ride Smuggler's Run. So he's first. Star Wars ride. I'm so glad we vlogged because this is something to document. First roller coaster with Slinky and now he's finally getting to do Star Wars stuff. So, Shepard doesn't know anything about Star Wars, but we love Star Wars. But so. we're training him. We're in a different world now, so Britt has a hair change. I'm too hot. And I was like, well, I might as well have my cute little layup on. They're just littered. My, my part's all crooked. It's a mess around here, but I was hot and I was like, well, this will keep it up and off of me. You ready to go ride in a spaceship? We have eyes on you. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> No wonder Tiffany likes it. I have it. ever tasted <laughs> in my entire life. Jared tried it and he actually really liked it. I like it too. I just don't think it's got a really lot of flavor. Too. It is very refreshing though. It has like a little light beer. It's not really sweet. It's not like overpowering. It's just a very light, refreshing, cool drink to have. It's perfect for right now. So I am very glad that we got it because yeah. it's perfect for right now. I like it though. I don't know if I like it, like get five in a row like it, like Tiffany likes it, but I would get it again. Yay! Shepard's finally tall enough to ride the Millennium Falcon. Are you excited? <laughs> oh my goodness. A new ride, Shepard. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He is so excited. <laughs> okay, I guess just because you can doesn't mean you should. Um, he did not make it. He literally made it onto the Millennium Falcon. But whenever we had to go like separate ways and he had to sit in his seat and I had to sit in mine or Jared's because he couldn't sit with us, it was a no-go. So you've technically been on the Millennium Falcon. You just like checked it out, make sure it was safe for mommy to ride and then you went back with daddy. And he doesn't like to ride by himself. I mean, obviously he's two. So we've stopped in at Backlot Express, and I got some chicken strips, Jer got a burger, and Chef got some mac and cheese and french fries, and he has eaten a little bit of everything. Boy, we can't wait to get out of the sun, huh? <laughs> Racing Academy. And chick That was wild. How cool. Yeah, well, unfortunately, that Eagle Maniac chick kicks went out to win that whole season. The Lightning has been rivals ever since. <laughs> well, hey there, rookie racer. Lightning! Goodness, did you have so much fun? Oh my goodness, who is that? 
I know, I see. Yeah. Okay, we had to run back into Toy Story Land because right there, outside of Midway Mania, I take a picture of Shep right there and I have every single trip since he's been born. And I almost missed it this time because we were about to head out, so I'm glad I got that done. This is where the new Roundup Rodeo restaurant is. It's just when you walk in, so there's the entrance into Toy Story Land. And it's just right here on the right. Y'all, Toy Story Land is the surface of the sun. So like I said at the very beginning of this vlog, if you're coming to Hollywood Studios, go to Toy Story Land first or last. Totally skip it, 100% skip it in the middle of the day. You will thank me later. Because it is 2.30 in the afternoon, it is blazing hot, we're gonna go ahead and head back to our room to just skip out on the, these next couple hours in the sun. And we'll probably head back out around maybe like five or six, let Shepard take a tiny nap. And here's Donald and Daisy. Hi. All right guys, we are at the <laughs> beach club. This is Shepard's first time back here since the very first trip. He ever came on as a baby. Yep. We went back to the room and we took a nap and we rested, we got changed, and we came to the beach club because we were gonna go grab a milkshake at Beaches and Cream. We're gonna head back into Epcot, hang out around the wall showcase, and watch us some fireworks, huh? Maybe try some more festival food. Shepard was in this like really clingy mood since she's woken up. Yes, and my calf muscles <laughs> feel like rocks right now. They are so tight. And Shepard wants to be absolutely just completely held. <laughs> Only by me. <laughs> it's okay, which mommies are for. We are back in Mama's favorite part of Epcot. Uh, we didn't get to hang out here much the other day, so we're gonna walk through the UK and start off. Get your fire truck, huh? Boy loves him some cars. Ooh, Shepard, what'd you find? Puppies, Daddy. Puppies. This whole trip, Shepard's been a puppy. <laughs> and if you ask him anything and his answer is yes, it's translated to. That's his yes this trip. Whoop. Open? Okay. <laughs> Shepard's feeling very British right now. Okay, it's time to go. He's on an important call right now. <laughs> he keeps telling me to shut the door. <laughs> He's literally talking. He's like, I'm right, I'm right. <laughs> Look at this kid. That was a good phone call? Cool! Get in here. Okay. Hello. How are you doing today? Huh? Um. Say okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. Yay. Where do you want to go? Where are we? Are we in Canada? It's like your favorite area. <laughs> That's so much. Like I know it's Canadian, but it just reminds me of Snow White so much. Yeah. That's so pretty. All right, we're making more stops at the festival, and Jared's getting the beef tenderloin chips with mushroom sauce. Okay, and while Daddy gets that, me and Sheppy are gonna head down here, and we're gonna grab us a violet lemonade because you can't go to Flower and Garden without a violet lemonade. All right, we got us a Dole Whip, and we got an extra cup to scoop that into. <laughs> Dole Whip, did you hear him? And we got a Violet Lemonade, so we're gonna scoop this in there, and it'll be Sheppy's. They smell like garlic, but they smell really, really good. It's basically kind of like roast in a whatever this is. It's yummy though, huh? It smells yeah, really good. good. Let me see it again. This is one of my favorite festival things, period. Yum. Okay, we have made it to the Fresh from Florida booth, and this is the watermelon cucumber slushy. It's really good. This looks delish. Strawberry shortcake. That looks amazing. And he's tried the spicy street corn. It's more watermelony than it is anything. It's not bad. It's way better than I thought it was gonna be. What about me? Corn. What do you want to try first, yet? Corn? He's really excited about this corn. It's corn. Okay. He wants a bite. Oh, that is good. Mm. Good job. You did good. That's his first time to really eat corn on the cob, I think. What'd you think? Oh my goodness. <laughs> that face. Do you like it? 
He's a fan of the slush too. This was just a total hit. Who knew we liked the fresh from Florida? I don't think we've ever gotten anything from here before. We always try basically a new booth every time. Yeah. Oh, are you going for this? Oh, that looks it delicious. Looks like Danish cookie. Mm. How was that, Chip? Is that yummy? <laughs> oh yeah, that was good. A lot of things are down Oh good. My little Celtic baby. Brent, are you excited? I'm excited. I love Epcot forever. It's my favorite Epcot show. I'm so happy with that. So, Beaches and Cream is right there. And they opened up the pickup window again, because I think it was closed for a long time. But we are waiting for our milkshake now, and I think it's gonna be a minute, aren't you? <laughs> uh, I hope not. No, maybe we're not too long. My face is so red, the guy at the window was like, I need to give you a water because I don't want you to pass out. I'm like, I'm not gonna pass out. <laughs> my face gets really red when I even get so lightly and conveniently hot. Um, and I, most of my makeup is gone from today, so you can really, really see my red face. We are just hanging out by the pool. We love the Beach Club. If you've watched our channel for a long time, you know this is one of our favorite resorts. We've stayed here twice. This was Shepard's very first resort he ever stayed at, and it's just, it always will hold a special place in our heart. I, I kind of wish that we would have stayed somewhere else and then stayed here later because we're at the stage in life where he would prefer to be here and swim in this pool than he would to even consider going to a park. This is his jam. So we get, we're gonna try to stay here in the next year or so so that Shepherd can play in the pool. Also, if you don't know, the Beach Club is connected to the Yacht Club. And if you stay in the Beach Club or the Yacht Club, they kind of share a sandbar pool and you can use both. The Beach Club has a lazy river and the bottom of the pool is completely sand and it is incredible. It is just the coolest thing ever to us. Many actually probably will not argue that this is the best pool on property. We ordered a cookies and cream milkshake to go and we're just hanging out at a table. Shepard got some gummy worms. What kind of gummy worms did you get? Can I see? Oh my goodness. Shepard got the angel. So, all right. <laughs> I'm not gonna take them. I just wanna look. <laughs> I just want to look at them. Can you show them to me? Hold them up so I can see. <gasps> okay, the sour gummy worms. And they have angel on them. We are huge fans of Beaches and Cream. It's been one of our favorite restaurants for all the time. But we've been really heartbroken about the new remodel. But we understood because they needed more room. And they can definitely fit more people in here now. But this is the new restaurant. And I'll put a picture up of what, <laughs> what it used to look like. <laughs> Hi. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just showing the update. <laughs> uh. Okay, somebody must have ordered something. But anyway, it's just like super duper modern now. And they took away all the like fun colors and, and stuff. Like I said, I'll put a picture in there of like what it used to look like. It used to be all beachy and pastel colors. And it was just like, it was basically like this vibe. But like inside too. And now it's just really sad. Like, I'm sure it's still great, Daddy. but it just Daddy. doesn't have Daddy. that, like... I told you not to do it. Old, uh, like, soda shop, beach, clubby vibe anymore. They took away the fun element of it. Now it just looks Daddy. like a meh Daddy. restaurant. All right. Milkshake in tow with a hyper, hyper baby. Come on. Oh, this milkshake is so good. 
If you're ever at Epcot and you want a milkshake, just hop over to Beaches and Cream and grab you one. They're so yummy. Now it's time to say goodnight to all our camp listening to Sirius XM on the Disney Channel, which is 302 if you've got Sirius XM. Actually, and, it's Disney Hits. I think oh, it's different Disney, than the regular Disney. Yeah, World. it's Disney Hits. And they came on and said, that concludes our day at, at Disneyland. Like, we hope you had a great time at the Magic Kingdom. Have a safe drive on your way home. And then Mickey and Minnie came on <laughs> and sang their song. And Donald and Goofy. It was so sweet. We're literally leaving. We're well, not leaving Disney, but we're like leaving the park and we're coming home to our resort. That was like the most perfect yeah. timing thing ever. I loved that moment. I will never forget that. That was so <laughs> cool. All right, guys, we are back in the room. That ending, <laughs> oh, Shepard's <laughs> in the vlog with me again. <laughs> Mommy's already asleep, so it's just me and Sheffy up. We're watching Dinah Ranch right now in the room before we go to sleep. That was such a cool ending before we came back to the room for it to come on like literally as we were leaving the park to end our night was like, that was like such a magical thing for us. Tomorrow we are gonna have like the fullest of full days, I feel like. But because of that, we're gonna have a full day, have to get up early, so we are going to bed. We love y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. If you're new to our channel, we'd love for you to subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And with that, it is late, we are tired, and we are going to bed. Good night, and we'll see y'all in the next one.